Hello and welcome to Chartmo. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the unbalance volume indicator and how you can use it to detect early changes in price trends. The OBV indicator measures buying and selling pressure as a cumulative indicator, adding volume on up days and subtracting it on down days. OBV was developed by Joe Granville and introduced in his 1963 book Granville's New Key to Stock Market Profits. It was one of the first indicators to measure positive and negative volume flow. But first and foremost, what is meant by unbalanced volume? The OBV indicator is a technical trading momentum indicator. It plots volume against price changes. The OBV indicator can rise, it can fall or it can stay the same. It is simply a cumulative total of positive and negative volume. The movement of the indicator depends entirely on price changes and the associated volume. If the stock price rises, then the volume of that period will be added to the previous period and this causes the OBV indicator to rise. If the stock price decreases, then the volume will be subtracted from the previous period, so the OBV indicator will thus decrease. When the closing price of the last period is exactly the same to the closing price of the previous period, the OBV indicator will remain unchanged. After all, there is no change in the stock price, which is one of the necessary conditions for the OBV indicator to change. Let's take a closer look at the actual progress of the indicator. This candle on the date of January 10 corresponds to an OBV value of 4,266,584. The next trading day, the price was slightly lower. The total daily volume was 34,935. Because the price fell, this volume is deducted from the current OBV value. And the new OBV value is therefore 4,231,649. The following day, there was a price increase with a total volume of 28,617. And this volume is consequently added to the OBV indicator, the new value now being 4,260,266. Finally, in this example, you notice that this candle on January 13 has the same closing price as the candle on January 12. The volume that day was 81,900. The candle closed higher than its opening price, However, the volume is not added to the OBV indicator because at the end of the day there is no price increase compared to the closing price of the previous trading day. What is the OBV indicator used for? As the name of the indicator suggests, everything centers around the concept of volume. Volume is a very important element in active investment because it reflects the strength behind a specific price movement. The premise is that a significant change in price is always preceded by a meaningful change in volume. A clear breakout supported by a strongly increased volume is a much stronger signal than the same breakout on low volume, which in fact increases the odds of a false breakout. On the other hand, low volume in a price drop in an overall rising trend is seen as positive. This is important, for example, in a retracement strategy whereby interim price dips with low volume in a rising trend are seen as buying opportunities for trend investors. The advantage of the OBV indicator is that it visualizes the volume streams on the chart. This allows you to better valorize the value of a price movement because in addition to the mere price increase, it also takes into account the volume that went with it. How to incorporate the OBV indicator in a trading strategy? Markets rise, fall or they move sideways. And for each scenario, the OBV indicator can give valuable information by visible divergences between the price and the OBV indicator. Remember that on balance volume is a cumulative indicator whose current value is determined by adding and subtracting past trading volumes. So the actual value of the indicator is not important. It is mainly the trend of the indicator that interests us and adds value. First of all, let's take a look at a stock in an upward price movement. At the beginning of November 2021, the Enbridge stock price rises to a new high. Volume was slightly higher, but certainly not extremely high. And during the same period, the OBV indicator shows a lower top, contrary to the price. 
indicating that this new price breakout has much less momentum than the previous top. And such a situation is called a negative divergence between price and volume, in this case visualized by the OBV indicator. The day after the breakout, sellers enter the market and the previous breakout is as good as wiped out completely. In doing so, the selling volume was even higher than the previous trading day. The divergence and the false breakout are clear warnings that a more structural change in price is possible. And as a trader, you can act on this in several ways. You could sell the position, or a part of it, and or you can raise the existing stop loss to secure a larger part of the accumulated profit. If in this case you had placed the stop loss for instance just below the last swing low after the formation of the most recent high, you would have been stopped out at marketing open on November 12. The loss would have been even slightly bigger because the price opened with a gap down below your stop loss. But that is still better than barely a month later where the price was already 15% lower than the last high. The second example shows a stock in a downtrend. The General Mills stock falls to a new low in early September 2021. The sell volume that day was certainly not abnormal. The OBV indicator clearly did not follow the price movement. The indicator did go lower, but unlike the price, it did not form a new lower bottom. This is called positive divergence. The day after the downward breakout, a huge price surge followed with the price closing more than 4.5% higher. Pay particularly attention to the volume that day, which is extremely high in comparison with earlier volumes. Anyone who went short on the downward breakout is caught in the short squeeze. But also for those who would have been in the market for a longer time with a short position, it should be obvious that the current downtrend is coming to an end. Closing open short positions or bringing the stop loss up to just above the high of the wide reversal candle are in this case the only correct choices for those who actively trade and want to secure profits. If you ignore this, by mid-December you'll be looking at a price increase of almost 20% compared to the existing low. The last example shows a stock that has been moving sideways for some time and where the OBV indicator warns us that buying volumes are rising. Even in a stock that has been moving sideways for a long time, you can spot divergences using the OBV indicator, which provides additional information about the strength and extent of a price movement. This chart shows the Mid-America apartment stock and since the end of July 2021 until mid-October, the price has been moving rather sideways between 184 and 198. During this period, you can clearly see that the OBV indicator is rising. In other words, there is positive buying volume, which is indicative of an increase in stock price. As a trader, this is very valuable information that you can take into account when the price breaks out above the existing sideways range on the date of October 14. Knowing that there was already rising buying volume in the earlier trading range, you will be more inclined to effectively buy the price breakout, and by the end of 2021, the stock has risen to 230. Just like any other indicator, the OBV indicator is not perfect and has its limitations. Therefore, never use this indicator on its own as a signal to buy or sell positions. The examples in this video have shown, however, that the indicator can be very useful in combination with other elements on the chart to detect the end of an existing trend at an early stage. And as a trader, you can take advantage of this information by taking preventive action and securing positions. Huge sudden volume surges in a particular stock can cause the OBV indicator to become unbalanced, making its interpretation unreliable. These usually occur at times when important news regarding the company is announced. And although the effect is only temporary, it can cause the OBV indicator to show a very extreme upward or downward value while this extreme movement is not visible on the price chart. So always look at the indicator over a sufficiently long period before interpreting it. If there is one thing you should remember from this video, it would be that as an investor or trader, you should always have an eye for volume, because it says something about the strength of the movement. Volume in a price movement is like the foundations of a building. The stronger the foundations, the more solid the structure will be. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. It helps us tremendously to grow this channel.
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.